Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of Hanfu and painting a portrait of a very special lady in this traditional Chinese dress. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future art adventures. This is Mochi Hanfu, an amazing Hanfu influencer who has been capturing hearts with her elegant and vibrant looks on TikTok. If you haven't checked out her page yet, I highly recommend it, and I will link it in the description below. Hanfu, for those unfamiliar, refers to the historical dress of the Han Chinese people. Its history spans over three millennia, and it has seen a massive resurgence in popularity in recent years, especially among young people. Each dynasty had its unique style and characteristics, but the essence of Hanfu remains consistent. Flowing silhouettes, intricate embroidery, and an undeniable elegance. Now, as I paint Moji Hanfu, I want to capture not just her likeness, but also the rich history and cultural significance that Hanfu embodies. It's so much more than just a dress. It is a statement, a connection to the past, and a vision for the future. I thought to add a little oomph to this video, I would write a short story to go along with this painting. So sit back, relax, enjoy, look at Mochi Hanfu's beautiful face, and I hope that this brings your day a little bit of joy and a little bit of peace. The palace of Emperor Tian Yi, with its soaring pagodas and grand courtyards, was said to be the very reflection of heaven on earth. Within its sprawling grounds, a tale as old as time, yet as ephemeral as a dream, unfolded. Lady Xie, the emperor's newest consort, moved through the court like a whisper, her hanfu flowing like liquid jade. It was said she hailed from a village where dreams and reality intermingled, and she brought that ethereal essence with her. Each layer of her dress seemed to contain stories from ages past, tales of love and despair, of magic and fate. Her hanfu, a stunning ensemble of silks in blues deeper than the twilight sky and greens brighter than the freshest spring leaves, gave her an otherworldly aura. It shimmered with a sheen that was neither from this world nor the next, catching the light and reflecting fantasies. The palace maids spoke in hushed voices about the first time Lady Xia danced under the moonlit sky in the central courtyard. With every twirl and step, tiny luminescent butterflies emerged from the folds of her gown, painting the night with their glow. The court musicians, finding their traditional instruments out of tune with her magic, discovered that their strings resonated with the hum of stars and the whisper of winds when she danced. Emperor Tian Yi, a ruler known for his stoicism, found himself entranced. Late at night, when the world was quiet and the moon hung low, he would sit with Lady Xia in the imperial gardens. She told him tales of her village, where trees sang lullabies and rivers carried dreams downstream. One evening, as they sat by the lotus pond, she whispered, Every stitch of my hanfu carries a dream, a wish. When the time is right, they will be set free. The emperor, enraptured by her words, responded, And what dreams does your heart carry, my lady? She smiled, her eyes reflecting the depths of countless dreams. A world where love is not bound by titles or walls, where every tear sows the seed of a new story, and every laugh echoes through time. One fateful night, during the Festival of Stars, as lanterns floated skywards, Emperor Qian Yi and Lady Xia vanished. The palace searched high and low, but they were never found. Yet. Every year since, during the festival, two particularly bright lanterns ascend higher than the rest, their lights dancing together eternally intertwined. And so, in the heart of the empire amidst grand feasts and courtly intrigues, the legend of Lady Xia and her dream-laden Hanfu became a tale whispered from one generation to the next, a tale of love, dreams, and a magic that defied the confines of time. 
I really do think that Hanfu is a magical garment, and I'm so glad that young people are bringing it back. I hope you enjoyed that little short story because I really do think that every time I look at Mochi and her Hanfu, it's that level of magical. She is just absolutely radiant and glitter and starlight just wafts off of her as she walks. It was such a delight to be able to paint someone not only so beautiful, but someone who deeply respects the history of her culture and is very eager to share that same history with other people. Mochi released a video for her birthday in which she wore this hanfu, and I really hope that I did her justice by painting her in this beautiful golden sunset light. If you haven't gone and watched any videos of Mochi's, you definitely should, especially if you like history. She covers a lot of topics, not just hanfu, but also makeup and history as well, and how certain trends tied into the looks that she wears, which I find particularly interesting. She also talks a lot about Chinese mythology and famous Chinese women from history as well. I think what I love the most about Hanfu is that each era and each dynasty had such defining impact on the Hanfu at the time that you can actually very easily, once you know what you're looking at, tell which Hanfu came from where. It's also great that Hanfu can be dressed up or down depending on what fabric that you're using, and I also love that Hanfu is completely unisex. Everybody just wanted to be comfortable, that's the lesson that we've learned here. And now we're nearly there. As I wrap this up, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the depth and the beauty of Chinese culture. It is such a privilege to represent it in my art. I'm bringing in those final touches, highlighting the delicate folds of the fabric, the shimmer, and making sure Mochi's graceful aura shines through. And now we're on to special effects and lighting. This was an incredibly difficult process. Capturing this golden hour lighting and transparent fabric was awful. I definitely never want to do it again, but I know I probably will have to. But all in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Finally, the very last step adding in special effects. And glitter! Lots and lots of glitter. And there we have it, our portrait of Mochi Hanfu in her stunning Hanfu. I hope that you enjoyed this art journey as much as I did. Remember, art isn't just about technique, it's about the stories we tell and the histories we honor. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep creating, Keep exploring and keep celebrating the world's rich tapestry of cultures. Bye for now.